As newspapers fold across the nation and journalists are laid off in record numbers, this group of high schoolers is managing to pull off a comprehensive traditional print newspaper. There's something incredibly satisfying about holding something concrete in your hands and having a physical issue that you're passing out to students at the school that you wouldn't get um, if we were only online. For a century, the Berkeley High jacket has stuck with tradition, a printed paper published twice a month. Ten years ago, they added an online version, but not as a replacement for the paper. It's definitely inconvenient. I mean, with all the time that we have to put into laying out pages on InDesign and all the money and resources it takes to print, it's definitely not the easy route. Um, but I think that without it, you sort of lose your tie to the news that you're producing. High school newspapers used to be as common as football teams. At last count in 2011, about two-thirds of public high schools had student papers. Kent State University journalism professor Mark Goodman says the number of student papers has declined about 30 percent over the past few decades. Amid shrinking school budgets, most papers have folded or shifted online. The Muslim Students Association is having a speaker series, periods one, two, and three, uh, tomorrow, actually, so you'd have to go to that in those periods. Just got to go to teacher. The Jacket's 16-page paper is a rare feat, and the students managed to run it without any financial backing from the school. So I'm very hands-off. All content decisions are made by students. They're looking at somewhere between 10 to 20 hours uh, a week of, of time commitment. And this is, all of this is done outside of the regular school day. Keeping their paper in print is not easy. So we don't get any money from school because we want to try to keep our independence as much as possible. We basically have to raise $18,000 every year. The jacket has a long and impressive legacy. It once broke the story of a sex trafficking ring in Berkeley. So SB 27 bill was just shut down. Uh, so should Berkeley kind of work out a new housing solution? We cover more than just what happens at Berkeley High. We cover, well, the district as a whole. While they feel strongly about keeping a traditional print newspaper, there's one tradition that the Jackets leaders would like to leave behind the mostly white newsroom. This is a problem that newsrooms all over the country are dealing with, is ensuring that we are reflecting the diversity of our community, and, and, and we don't uh, on, on our staff right now. And so recruiting students of color, recruiting students that don't always see themselves as the strongest writers, but understanding that the importance of journalism is, is not always about being a strong writer. It's about having something to say and working with editors and copy staff and anyone else can sort of help bridge the skills gap. For now, the jacket will last on paper as long as its advertisements and fundraising efforts allow. This is Eleni Gill for Berkeley Side.